welcome to the first ever Rolling Stone UK Awards in collaboration with Remy Martin. Give me a cheer. All right, now, just to clarify, I am your host for the evening, okay? This isn't the JLS Tribute Act. Uh, if you've seen my stuff on the internet before, give me a little cheer. All right, now, if you haven't, I do a lot of political satire, okay? So much so, last year, I almost got deported, uh, which was pretty Patel's fault, actually. Um, <laughs> she was actually gonna be on Amma Celeb this year, but uh, she doesn't like kangaroo anus. Uh, and to be fair, I don't like Nigel Farage either. Um, but man, what a venue, Roundhouse. You know, and it's, it's crazy to think, yeah, it's crazy to think when this place was, was built in 1846 in Britain, there was mass poverty, social unrest, political corruption. And now as we sit here in 2023, you can't help but think to yourself, look how far we've come. But 2023 has been a crazy year. I mean, we had the beginning and the end of the writer's strikes. Yeah, I mean, they can finally get back to making Fast and Furious 86. Uh, we had uh, the first diverse Little Mermaid. That was good, yeah. Black and Ginger, I know, pick a struggle. And we had the Barbie movie, the, the highest ever grossing film by a solo female director. Come on, that's something. I mean, I can't wait for the sequel, because where else are you going to see a load of plastic people living in a mansion? Apart from Love Island. Um, sorry, that was harsh. Kardashians. Okay, some Kardashian fans in the room tonight. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, what else do we have in sport? The Lioness has made it to the World Cup final. Yeah. Didn't win. But honestly, it was inspiring. I mean, they were aggressive. They were fierce, they were persistent, and they tried to get as many touches as possible, which, funnily enough, is also Russell Brand's Tinder bio. Okay, I've got a read of the room now, good to know. <laughs> and finally, music, massive year for music. Digger D became the youngest rapper ever to headline the Royal Albert Hall. Incredible. First time they've ever had to order fruit shoots for someone's rider. Um, Dua Lipa, Calvin Harris, Fred again, all of them got Grammy nominated, which is incredible. And even our disgraced former Home Secretary, Suella Bravman, entered the charts with her Oasis-inspired single, Rwanda Wall. So, it's been a crazy year, but that's what we're doing tonight. You know, it's just taking a moment away from all of that to celebrate the best music, film, and TV in the UK and Ireland. So to all of our artists and our nominees, thank you for giving us your art. For our partner, Remy Martin, thanks for allowing us to make this party happen. And for all of you for being here today, thank you for coming with us to celebrate. All right, so before we start, a couple of house rules. Please drink responsibly. Uh, if you want to smoke, go outside. And if you want to vape, uh, go home. And look, if you vape and you're offended by that joke, just uh, take a deep breath. All right, so are we ready to get this party started? Okay, right, now let's see how well I can read an auto cue. Here we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is, we've done that bit. Uh, okay, our first Rolling Stone UK award is rightly the Breakthrough Award supported by Volvo. To present the award, the superstar comedian, actor, and writer. She's the brains behind the BAFTA winning series, This Way Up, and apparently once submitted an interview to listening to Beyonce 18 times a day. So, as she comes on now, to the left, to the left. Please welcome the wonderful Ashling B. Well